Hello everybody and welcome to Herman's RV Holidays. Uh, we are, well this is now Easter weekend, we've got four days off and it is Saturday of that holiday, I don't know. 15th of April, okay great, someone's paying attention. And um, yeah, we are currently in Hartford, in Hertfordshire, which is north of the M25, just a bit further up the uh, A1M, just to put you in the picture. Uh, and yeah, we're currently walking along the, um, uh, the River Lee, which uh, is just, it goes through Hartford. That's right, Hartford. <laughs> Um, but we have parked Herman in a nice little car park uh, in Hartham Common, right? Hartham. Is it Hartham? Hartham it's Common. Yeah. yeah, Hartham Common, we think. Um, but yeah, it's really quite nice here. Now, however, uh, the weather has changed since last weekend. Last weekend we were in Chichester and um, mm. it was stiflingly hot. Although this weekend typical of Easter weekend I think it's yeah is uh, it's a bit chilly and overcast so uh, anyway we're gonna be walking along here and see what we can find hopefully it should be really nice Okay, we're having to cross the railway line here. <laughs> Look left and right. Nothing coming. Should we leave you there? <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> be wondering why we've journeyed out here to a what seems like a housing estate but uh, hopefully maybe a little surprise just up here just there should be a gate into Scott's Grotto very limited opening time so uh, hopefully we have to get in Looks a bit like a hobbit hole, doesn't it? Hello there. Does this remind you of the caving? Yeah. Well, not too bad. Very, 
very yeah. sign, shiny shells. Yeah, I guess they look like a... sort of mother of pearl kind of thing, don't they? Oh, that sounds weird when you're standing right in the middle. Oh yeah, it looks kind of quite well. Oh, you sound really weird. Do I? Yeah, kind of a slight echo. Ah. Scott's Grotto is named after John Scott, who was an 18th century poet. He inherited Amwell House and grounds from his father in 1740, and since grottos were fashionable back then, he decided to build his own, which took about 30 years to complete. The shells, flint and coloured molten glass were all donated by friends. Built this, isn't it? Yeah, by hand, yeah. of course. Yeah, even the intricate detail of the shells going in a circle. Mm. Cool. Some, some sort of pattern, and they probably didn't have electricity back then either. It was cold in, as it is, isn't it? It's yeah. Cool. So they would have probably built this by candlelight or something. What do you think? Yes, I think you might be right there. All right, it's right. On top of the grotto is this summer house, again made out of flint. I don't see any shells here though. Hello. What do you think of that then? It was all right, Myla. Oh, just all right. Yes, you didn't need very long, but very, very interesting. No. All right, it's brought the guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's sunny, what, 10, 15 minutes away from the campsite, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, and it is in a housing estate. Yes. But um, Scott he owned all of this land, all the way up to the uh, the crossing, which we, you know, we've walked across just uh, uh, this morning. Scott's road was up there, but it's literally from here. Which is, uh, we could actually see the railway and the crossing from here, but, um, or we would be able to if it wasn't for all the housing estates and trees are in the way now. But it was all built in uh, 1700s, 1750, I think he said. And uh, since then, the, uh, the road that we were driving down, that's been built in front of it. And of course the A10, uh, but, uh, Landscape has completely changed, but um, the it's still there. It was kind of derelict and uh, falling apart when they found it, and the bulldozers were coming in, knocking it down. They had to rebuild the uh, the porch. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos. Bye bye now.